Welcome to 5 Minutes to Code, Programming Basics with your host Matthew C. Applegate. In this series, we are going to look at the fundamentals of computer programming. So whether you are hoping to program in Python, to code in C Sharp, or to develop in Java, these short guides should help you get to grips with the basics to get started. You won't need to download or install any software, so just sit back and enjoy. In this series, we are going to be looking at sequence, selection, and iteration, as well as pseudocode and flowcharts. Today, we are going to look at sequence. So let's look at this in more detail. Selection is the second principle of computer programming. Selection is a nice way of saying to choose. There can be several routes through a computer program, and depending on which route you take, it will produce a different outcome. Here is a simple example about selection inside a computer game program. You are playing a video game and are running along and you come to a hole. You can't stop as you're moving way too fast. Unfortunately, you are not quick enough to jump and you fall down the hole and lose a life. Fortunately, you have one life left. The program would look something like this using if statements. If lives is greater than zero, then call the reset level procedure. Else, call the end game procedure. Cool. So in this case, you now have one life left and the level has restarted, calling the reset level procedure. You are running along and unfortunately the same thing happens. So we look at that code again. Now what happens? Sadly, your number of lives isn't greater than zero in fact, it is now zero, so the program runs the end game procedure. This is selection. This is your program making decisions. In this case, it is making decisions based on how many lives you have. Video games have literally hundreds, if not thousands of if statements, making decisions every second, depending on the variables and their values. Okay, here's another example. This time, instead of using if statements, we use a switch. In this example, the score variable is set to 90. What is the message that will be printed? That's right, you passed with a great score. This is selection. In this case, this is your computer looking at the variable score and making a selection based on the value. You can even have selection within selection with nested ifs like this example in processing. Firstly, it checks if mouse is pressed. Then it checks if mouse button is equal to the left button. If it is, it then calls the jump procedure. Then it checks if the mouse button is equal to the right button. If it is, it calls the shoot procedure. In this example, we could both jump and shoot at the same time as it checks for the press of the left mouse button as well as the right mouse button one after another. However, if we wanted to choose only one path, we could change the code to using an else if. Now it will only look and see if either the mouse left or right button is pressed, perform the respective action and ignore the other possibility. This is just a short guide to sequence selection and iteration. How you combine the three principles will affect the outcome of your program. There are literally an infinite possibility of combinations to make and I look forward to hearing about what you have made with your code. Be sure to check out the other videos in the Programming Basics series as they will give you a good foundation to get started. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to subscribe to my channel like the video and comment below if you have found it useful. If you want to get started in programming right away, be sure to check out my computer art programming tutorials here. Until next time, thanks for watching 5 Minutes to Code.